Hello everyone and welcome back to Domina. Now on Pro Gamer Mode. We're going for the super difficult and seeing how far we can get in this, of course. We just have one one little person here. One little person. One little guy who's gonna be a scissor. We're gonna give you a couple of weapons. We have like no money. We're gonna make you tough. Tough, powerful, and strong. Vettius. We're gonna change your name because Badger Heart was here. Heart of a Badger. Heart of a Badger is now gonna be our only individual that we're gonna be training. We're gonna turn on automatic gladiator training, get some humility up in here. We don't have anybody that likes us. We have very little wine. We have very little money. We'll buy all of these things just so we're stocked up on them. <clears throat> McSherry! Hello! Welcome to the Lutus. We are in uh, dangerous territory. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I wonder if we should control gladiators. Uh, aimed attack. So we got one gladiator. We're gonna we're gonna purchase an uh, a, a new gladiator to have. McSherry, here you are. We're bringing you in. We can't. We can't even afford you. I don't think. How much are you? Oh, there we go. Buy you, McSherry. Welcome. Welcome to the Lutus. We are very seriously uh, gonna get beat up. Do you wanna do you wanna be a dual weapon fighter? Or would you like to be a sword and board type? That's all we got at the moment. Let me know when you have a chance. Uh, we are playing on pro gamer mode. This is super tough. This is we're probably all gonna die difficulty over and over again. <laughs> but we're giving it a go. Hella expense you are, you know, quality. Any measure of money, totally worth it for you. Quality content is worth every penny. Dual wield all the way. We got a scissor here. We're gonna try to use a little bit of money without going bankrupt. There we go. Yep, we're pretty much bankrupt. Uh, what would you rather have? A hood, a shirt, a loincloth, or some knee pads? Or shoulder pads? You get to choose one part of the body, because I only have $70 left. <laughs> I have a feeling this isn't going to go great. We got an execution executor's hood. We got the leather strapping. I am stalling for time because I'm scared. I'm scared we're going to lose in the first five seconds. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of anything. We got to make sure you're training too. You're supposed to be training. Are you training? Why? Oh, you're not training because you're healing. Protect your precious shoulders. All right. There's one leather pauldron. There's two leather pauldrons. Yeah, look at you out there. Look at you, beast. Out there ready to fight. And the battle's about to begin, too. Uh, we got Lactanic, Lact Lactationus versus Heart of a Badger. That's the only choice we have because currently McSherry's still healing from being whipped too often. You poor, poor thing. I would never mistreat you like that. All right. Heart of a Badger takes on Lacticus. Get him! Let's go, let's go! Get those swings out. A couple of good hits coming in from Heart of a Badger already. One after another after another. He's got him pinned against the wall. The swings are coming down, but oh, a cut comes back, striking Heart of a Badger across the chest. Come on now. A couple of good swings out there. Oh, we're getting hit back and forth, back and forth. A couple of quick strikes from Heart of a Badger, but he's taking injuries. We're getting low. Lactanicus is like two hits away, one hit away, 24 health. Oh, it's so close. But Heart of a Badger has proven themselves potent, powerful, and capable. The Badger strength was with you today, my friend. Now we got some money. Uh, how do we want to play this? We can't do anything while it is paused. So we got to do everything live. Do it live. We're doing it live. We're gonna buy some uh, stuff so we don't like run out of food and drink. Um, we can do aimed attacks now. We're gonna do blade control. It's expensive. It'll take us six days, but but we gotta do it. <clears throat> Make sure you're almost healed. We're gonna get you a friend now. It's gonna be Avenius. Avenius, welcome to the to the party. 
Uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a fight. It's gonna be an unfair fight against McSherry and Avenius. All right, you two. I want to see no dirty fighting, no below the belt strikes, no cock knocking, no hitting people on the head and saying neener neener. Ah, look at poor Avenius with no weapon running back and forth in the crowd. He's like, let me get a weapon, please. I got a spear finally. Now I can fight. Oh, you knocked it out of my hand. Oh, you defeated me. <laughs> hey, Doyle's out there booing at the fight. Make sure he got to have a, a cheap victory is what he's saying. Note from the Doctor A. When a gladiator's hit points drop below 20%, there's a chance he will develop an impediment. Avenius has been severely wounded in battle and has developed an impediment that will limit his agility training to 40. The next time this happens, only a short notification message will be visible in the Ludus, but the impediment will be visible in the gladiator's information. So, unfortunately, you've permanently scarred our poor, poor character here today. <laughs> So uh, we're going to give him just a couple of things and be like, you know what? You're barely worth it. I might sell you later. But we'll say, go ahead and heal him for now. Um, how much does it cost to get a Doctore? Doctore, where are you? Doctore, Sacerdos. Uh, Medicus, Doctore is $2,200. They don't allow us to have one of those. We got to have a, that's not what I meant. Not a Doctore. A Doctore is a trainer. Derp. I meant a Medicus. We do want a Medicus. We will, we will hire them so they can help heal us and get us out of this mess. Uh, antiseptic vinegar. Increased treatment speed. Auto healing should be on. Rose water. That doesn't sound like it would heal anything. Mead. Yes. We need the mead. Mead's important. Okay. So Badger should be gaining health back. 27. Uh, hey, Doyle's out here. Hey, Doyle's saying, you know what? This is the end for you. We think you deserve death, and McSherry's the only one strong enough to fight right now. It's McSherry versus Hay Doyle. Oh no, that's not what we wanted to have happen. Lovers spat. Let's see what happens. Here we go, three, two, one. Hey Doyle McSherry squaring up, couple of swings coming up, but blocks over and over again, keeping that damage away. Hey Doyle's got so much more life than McSherry, three times the health. I don't think this is gonna go well. We're sitting there in 54 health, McSherry's down near the bottom of the barrel with six health left. Ah, McSherry has fallen and has been slain by Hey Doyle. Doyle has killed McSherry. Why would you do that now? Our Ludus is in trouble. <laughs> you make us so sad. We're going to send you some wine. Please don't hate us. Uh, send you some wine. Please don't hate us. Thank you. We want to make sure they don't, uh, they, don't, they don't just have us die. This is what they mean by, uh, by pro gamer mode. So strong, so tough. And uh, yeah, that that lover spat was everything. That was that was it. Hey Doyle, you're not in this group. You didn't come to our Ludus. You stayed out there and just murdered some of us. Uh, can we get a new gladiator? McSherry, the new McSherry gladiator has come out here, but it's 223 coin. We're gonna have to sell some of our own lifeblood. We're gonna sell some food. Nope, that's 630 food to get 10 coins. <laughs> uh. That's so much. We'll sell a little bit of our water. Sell a little bit of our food. Oh, God. We'll sell some of our wine. We sold so many things just so that we can get sherry. 223 coins. There we go. We got $5. $5 is all we've got. But look at McSherry out there in agility training. Got the armor on. McSherry of Armenia. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. McSherry 2.0. 2.0. There we go. Stop being concerned because I changed your name, slave. <laughs> Nimble stance. We got another McSherry. An imposter McSherry out here. We're going to have to send the, the, the OG McSherry 2.0 versus the uh, the other one. The imposter versus non-imposter. Give me all your yaws. Yaw everything to make McSherry strong. They're chained to the floor. McSherry swings over and over again, trying to break the chains. Now having to get engaged in the fight while chained up. 
McSherry's now at half health, got serious damage to their chest, their head, their belt, chopping away as fast as they can, trying to get these chains off, while also trying to defend themselves against the false one. The false one, of course, just slightly below. McSherry goes in for a couple of good blocks. Come on, swing's coming out. Oh, we're so close to this victory. One more hit and yes, McSherry 2.0 wins the game. Data versus lore. <laughs> You have saved our Ludus temporarily, and you're not Kato. You are Betrayer Doyle. Betrayer Doyle is now within our Ludus, and we'll use them as we see fit. <laughs> the Legat, and a group of angry looking soldiers descend on your house. He's searching for a small group of soldiers who deserted their post. They were last seen near your villa, and the Legat demands your assistance in locating him. Uh, exclamation point one or two. Do we decline the Legat's request, or do we send some guards to find the deserters? Bear Trayer. <laughs> nice. Give us your votes. McSherry says decline the Legat's request. Okay. So far, looks like we're going to decline. What do you think there, Bear Trayer? Two. So it's up to me to decide, huh? I guess uh, I'll have to flip a coin. Flip a coin. And it says... Oh, looks like we're doing declining the request. We got it. The Legat takes your denial as an indication that you may be harboring the deserters. He and his men search your villa but find no sign of the men. You have not won any friends with your dismissive attitude this day. Crap. He doesn't like us anymore. Go figure. McSherry, you're injured. Please heal. All right, we have some money. We really need food bad. Let's buy all that food back. We're doing better there. We'll buy some wine and some water just to make sure our Lutus isn't screwed. Did we get any blessings? We have not gotten any. Oh, we got a blessing. We did. We got equipment steward. Uh, we'll give that to McSherry so that your equipment doesn't break so fast. And uh, let's fight this out, I hear. So we're going to go have an exhibition match. We're going to have McSherry and the Badger Heart versus Avenius and Betrayer Doyle without any weapons. <laughs> Good luck, Doyle. You killed the original McSherry. This one's got a bunch of broken armor on, but still. Fight! Kill them! Kill both of the evil ones! Take out the Betrayer Doyle who's just running away and allowing Avenius to fight for him. Oh, there's one down. And Doyle's weapon was immediately disarmed. He picked up a shield, but that wasn't it. Fallen down, they have asked to be allowed to stay alive. McSherry and Heart of a Badger gain some training. And our host temperament goes up a little bit. Look at all those little stats. They don't give nearly as many points as they used to. All of our weapons, so boned. Doyle, you're almost dead, so we're gonna have you uh, go ahead and stand here and heal for a while. Oh my god! <laughs> we just got out of a fight, and we've got four chain lions, Dio and Hygienius, over here fighting. Pro Gamer is not effing around. We can only trust this to McSherry and Heart of a Badger. Two of you gotta do this for us. You gotta succeed. You're gonna have to fight in the name of our Ludus. Three, two, one, fight! Coming out strong, but a couple of hits coming on Badger. Dio's taking a swing here and there. Harder Badger's injured. Taking down that less than half health. McSherry, you took a strike. Take a couple of strikes. Hygienius and Dio are fighting too well. Harder Badger's almost dead. The lions have gotten free and are now starting to eat everyone. Hygienius and Dio are both down. McSherry's the only one left standing. Get those swings in, please. Shields up. Swing out. Come on, kill him. Take him down for us, McSherry. We need you. We need you so much. Oh, no, you're down to 20 health. A couple of hits left, and you're dead. Oh, oh McSherry has fallen. Oh, no. Our most powerful gladiators. One fell swoop, and they have gone to the great beyond. Uh, Betrayer Doyle, you're our only hope. Do you like, want to have a sword and shield, or would you like to use dual blades? Let me know in the comments. We're going to have to start training a few other things, I think. Uh, we can't afford most of this stuff, so... 
We're gonna go with aimed defense, make our defenses a little better. Dual blades for Doyle. We're gonna give you a couple of dual blades and uh, we'll give you a shirt. And that's it. That's what you get. We're gonna have to go and buy a new, nope, we're not gonna buy another Hey Doyle. We're not doing that. We do have uh, this person for 249 coins. It's now gonna be the new McSherry. McSherry 3.0. Avenius has appealed for release. My wife is with child. Please let me be there to protect them. Should I deny them? Or let them go free? We don't even have more than... There's only three people here. Can we afford to allow a gladiator to go free? You know what? I'm just gonna... I'm gonna override this. You're denied. You, sir, are gonna fight in the next battle, and you're gonna like it. You got three days left to get healthy. All right. McSherry, uh, what's your new name? Give us, give us a new name, cause McSherry and McSherry 2.0, we got, we gotta go with something a little more thematic for, for 3.0. And I mean, that's that's true. Could he have been Larry? I mean, some some slaves were married, right? Probably. Was that a thing? I am not up on my my history when it comes to that, so I'm I'm not I'm not sure. All right, McSherry 3.0. What is your name? Give us, give us the next one. Mikus Sherius. There we go. And we'll give you some wine and some coin to just shut up about the name change. It's all good. Uh, and we are broke. We are so broke. Downgrade to a tin pauldron. Downgrade to that so that they're not just toasted armor. There. That gives us a little bit of cash and fixes the equipment you're currently wearing, so I am totally down with that. All right. Got you here doing the thing. Mikasharius out there dancing around, training skills. We got one day left of the next battle. A false McSherry yet again. It looks like Betrayer Doyle and Mikus Sherius are getting out on the field of battle to take out, to take out the Lore Sherry. Here we go. They've got a bit of health. Betrayer Doyle's not doing so good on those parts. Three, two, one, go! A couple of good swings, some smack smacks bouncing off shields. Oh, a couple of good hits. Betrayer Doyle took a strike to the chest. False McSherry lost the shield. It goes flying across the room and it was cut right down the middle. Victory! Betrayer Doyle and Mikus Sherius working together as a team! Betrayer Doyle has Omicronius. <laughs> I think that's this guy's name now. You are now Omicronius. I don't care if you're agitated. You asked for freedom. You don't deserve it. You haven't done anything to be worthy of freedom. We are, however, going to give you a nice little canvas skirt and an executioner's hood and some armor. Uh, Betrayer Doyle, you, you succeeded at teamwork, so now you're a bear trayer. There we go. We got a bear trayer out there with Mikus Sherius. Got some uh, evasive rolls. We need some of those out here. We didn't win anything else yet. Uh, we're doing okay on our supplies. We're low on coin. Medicus, why don't you train in Posca? Vinegar. Let's pour vinegar on your wounds. That'll help them heal faster. <laughs> I'm sure that's how that works. All right, we got Herodis and another false McSherry against one of our gladiators. Ah, shit. 270 health. 58 damage, 51 damage. The only one we can afford to just murder is going to be Omicronius. Let's see. Let's see if Omicronius is strong enough to overtake Herodis and McSherry. <laughs> here we go. Sacrificial lamb, give us your cheers. The new McSherry out here. This this one is tough. Three, two, one, fight. Go on, Macronius. Ah, we want to see you die because we hate Omicron. <laughs> We're throwing out you throwing you out there just so we can get a, a, a good showing. And that's it. You've been defeated. You suck, Omicronius. You're dead now. 
How'd you like them apples? How'd you like them apples? Yeah. Um. I don't know where to go from here because we're just going to get rocked. Let's. There you go. Have some black pauldrons. You can be scary with your black pauldrons. Do we have another employee we can get here? Morale, food per day, AI proficiency, reduced costs on upgrades and resources. We need that. We need reduced costs on upgrades and resources. And uh, we'll also sacrifice to the gods and hope to save ourselves using hope and prayer. Sacrifice some resources to the gods to see the magistrate dead. Curse opponents. Uh, curse opponents hit points. Uh, Jupiter's blessings to remove them. Increase the favor of either one of these individuals. Let's wish this Legat dead. Yeah, let's do it. Monetize friendship. Market haggling for wine. Equipment upgrade haggling. Market haggling for food. Legat bribes. Slaves. I think we're going to have to monetize that get some get some slaves slaves at a cheaper rate the legat has abruptly fallen ill with blood spewing from his ears and eyes a coincidence of course you did it Harrispex. the gods are real goodbye legat you were an asshat uh can you do the same thing to the magistrate we don't like him either kill them both Monetized friendship sounds like a certain politician's move. Yep. The magistrate has fallen ill with blood spewing from his ears and eyes. A coincidence, of course. Oh, goodness. They seem to have screwed with the wrong real uh, holy person. Yeah, that. Um, What can we even afford right now? Gosh. Next battle in four days. Hope and prayer. Hope, <laughs> prayer, and human sacrifice. <laughs> okay. Bear Trayer is doing some defense training. Mikas Sherius is doing some strength training. We really need to get your defense up. you got one defense. You are not a defensive person, Mikas Sherius. Also, you got a nice belly button there. <laughs> um, Weapon damage seems to be the main thing that you're focusing on here. While Bear Trayer kind of even stats across the board next battle is about to come up we are uh unable to buy slaves or anything or arrange exhibition matches none of that stuff so we're just we're just gonna have it rain on us now and soon we'll be seeing the lightning i'm sure <laughs> two days left till the fight a new magistrate was appointed to the city. Hey, you like us? Have some wine. Yeah, look at that. We're friends now. Um, and, and hey, you know what? Since we're such good friends, since we're such good friends with all this wine, why don't you... Uh... Yeah, you're a patron of the Lutus, Micasharius of India. You have been adopted by Magistrate Cecilius Apronius as their uh, um, patron. You're their... You're, you're, they're your patron, rather. Magistrate will be responsible for this gladiator's food and water until the day that they die on the field of battle. Congratulations, you have someone watching over you now. Oh, we got a fake Hay Doyle out here. So what do we say? Do we want to have another rematch? Another Mikas Sherius versus Doyle? Or is the Bear Trayer going to see if he's better against the Doyle that is? Which Doyle it is is it gonna be? Will it be the Doyle that is or the Doyle that isn't? Give me uh, give me your 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 yas if you want to be thrown in here. We going for for Mikas Sherius, the Sherry Doyle showdown, or the Bear Trayer versus the Doyle Do Doyleinator? <laughs> I humor myself, and that is all that matters sometimes. Thank you very much. Do, 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 do. Looks like Doyle has agreed to be a sacrifice. Bear Trayer versus Hey Doyle. Uh, I'm gonna have to tell you that your odds don't look great here, but we'll we'll give it a go. Good luck to you. Best of luck, Mr. Doyle. The Bear Trayer. Four, three, two, one. Fight! 
couple of strong swings coming out, coming out of swing. Oh, look at that dodge, that expert Shatner roll. Couple of swings. Doyle is getting hit over and over again, but the Bear Trayer's taking too many, too many injuries. Bear Trayer has too low of life. There's dust all in the field. It's hard to see what's going on. Backed into a corner. Uh, Doyle themselves is is taking a couple of hits. Bear Trayer expertly getting a couple of rolls off. Swing after swing, just taking advantage of that lowered shield. Bear Trayer's nearly dead. Bear Trayer's down to two hits, one hit left until he falls. Ah, man, that was so close. And unfortunately, the Bear Trayer has failed in succeeding over the Doylenator. And that was all she wrote. Bum, ba -da, bum, ba -da. Oh, we don't care, you're a slave. We're gonna get another one right now. <laughs> another McSherry is not a McSherry. It's like, look, I know you were born with the same name as all those other individuals that were named after, you know, that, that legendary hero of sherry -tumness. But you're gonna be Doyle Canum. Doyle Canum, do you wish to have a shield or dual weapons again? I guess we already have one shieldy. Hello, Legatus. We're gonna make you a scissor once more. And this time, we're gonna give you a better hat and, uh, like, a gray shirt. There you go. Once you've healed, we'll continue going. If we can do it, purchase a, uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Don't call me names. I didn't mean to do that. We've got a couple of gladiators out here, but they're too expensive. 142, 167. We need to start winning some games. Several military officers are on the road towards military encampments after a long ride from Rome. They're quite weary and dehydrated. Do we offer them water? Offer them water in exchange for coin or give them nothing. Water is a valuable commodity. <laughs> and Doyle's already saying, let's make more enemies for this Ludus. Like, it's hard enough already. Uh, so it looks like we are going to give offer them water. Oh, great. I have to flip a coin again. All right, flip again. It looks like offering them water is what we're going to do. The men are very grateful. The Legat appreciates your small sacrifice. Okay. So we haven't made all of the enemies that exist at the moment. Needed some wine. Doyle Canum's out there practicing while Mika Sherius is doing her best. We're gonna buy a Gradius and a Vedius. The main reason we're getting them is just to train Doyle. Uh, curse the opponent's fighting prof proficiency. If this works, we're just doing it all the time. Uh, we can't arrange an exhibition match with you. Is it because you don't like us? Is that why? How about that? Now will you? Nope, still won't. Uh, how about you? Yeah, I guess we're doing an exhibition match. We're going to throw in Mikus and Doylicum versus our two new uh, little guys that are just going to get murdered. Uh, yeah. You need the experience cutting people down. Your sacrificial lambs, Gratius and Vetius. We apologized. You have submitted in one stroke. There you go. Very quickly took them both down. A good time was had by all, except for Vettius and Gratius, who had no weapons and were forced to fight. My wounds are grave. I will never be the same. He's now got an injured arm. <laughs> Great. And he's got an injured bodily health. Great. <laughs> Two severe injuries at a time. This is... This is good news. Good news, folks. So while the uh, Doctoris, or Medicus, is healing all of you, the Doctoris is training our Emptor. How about, um... Hmm. Let's monetize friendship. My respects. Curse the fighting proficiency of the enemies. Hmm. We can't really afford anything great. Disarming weapon. Now we're down to 14 coin. Can't do anything else till this next fight. Gratius is getting healed. Increase favor. <laughs> I don't think that's how that's spelled. 
Gratius is appealed for release. Have I not paid the price for my misdeeds? Is forgiveness not offered to all men equally denied? You do not deserve it because you have not earned anything yet. Genarius and McSherry out here with no weapons. Finally, a fight we can handle. Doyle Canum and McSherrius, how about the two of you work alongside one another once again for true victory? In four, three, two, one, fight! They are unarmed. They should be easy to destroy. One has fallen. The other one is running around looking for a weapon and had their arm shops clean off. Ha! I feel like a bully and it's wonderful! Doyle Canum and Mikas Sherius gaining the extra experience. We got all this out here now. So that's some good news. That's some good news. A few individuals that are now uh, part of our boxing ring. Yeah, we're gonna arrange an exhibition match just for money's sake. Vettius and Gradius versus versus Aldous, and they none of them have weapons. This is all about the boxing match. Put in your bets. Who's gonna win? Gratius, Vettius, or Aldous? Three, two, one, fight! Get those fists going. Big ol' swing, smack, smack, smack. Aldous hitting hard, but then there's a couple coming right back. Look at those big ol' swings. Oh, somebody found a spear. That's problematic for Aldous. Aldous taking a couple hits after one after another. Down to 18, now he has fallen to his knees. Unfortunately, unable to grab a hold of a weapon in the moment of time that they needed to fight back. All this has failed, but that was such a close fight. You tried, buddy. You tried. Congratulations, you tried. <laughs> um, weight training, yeah. Curse our opponent's hit points. While overseeing the training of your men, an arrow whistles past your face and sinks into a pillar. The arrow has a note attached. Simply says, cock. <laughs> That's not good mail to get. How dare you launch your cock papers at me. <laughs> We're going to have some market haggling for the wine. I don't think that the emptor is actually used for. Use for. It's a use for thing to have. That's words. Could death witch these individuals again if we really wanted to. Could be good mail though, but I'm just <laughs> right, right. We got six days left up on our next battle. Uh, since these guys have all gotten into their training, we're gonna wait till Aldis is healed, and then we're gonna throw them right back into the the boxing matches. Increase attack speed for all weapons. Excellent. All right, all this, you've gotten your medicals on. It is now time for us to arrange an exhibition match and throw, this time you, you're gonna go in with an, al with an ally. Aldis and Vettius versus Gratis. Last time it was uh, the other way around. Actually, I think Vettius needs to be the one. Uh, Gratis, go back over here real quick. We're gonna switch you out for, for Aldis. No, for Vettius. All this, get in there. There we go. Vettius, you're coming out. So the reason being, stat-wise, uh, Vettius has the highest stats out of everybody here. So we're going for some boxing matches, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna hope that Vettius is strong enough. Let's go, boys! Fight! Punches coming out, heavy swings. Vettius all the way down to half life. So is Gradius. So is Aldis. Look at all those little numbers and suddenly drop to the ground, taken out much too fast. A couple of heavy hits brought in on him by Gradius and Baldus. It just started kicking him when he was down. Kicking him when he was down. That gives us very little training, to be honest, but I'm more in it for the for the money we desperately, desperately need. We gotta buy some food. Okay, one day left till the big fight. Blossius and Ariolus. <laughs> Ariolus. Hi, Ariolus, Mr. of the massive mipples. I said mipples. All right, Megasharius or Doyle Canum, you have to give me your eye. The first one to yaw in the chat shall be fighting for their life against this threat to our Ludus. You need to bring joy. You need to bring victory 
You need to bring carnage to our enemies. Bring death upon them all! Nick Sherry has decided to go first. Here we go. Mikus Sherius versus Blasius and Ariolus. A two-on-one fight with tethered gladiators. Can you win and bring us glory or will you die and be shamed for a third time? You're chained up. Make sure he broke the chains already. Popping out, taking a couple of solid hits, blocking. Oh, getting all those blocks in. Lots and lots of blocks, but they're not tiring. A nice swing came in, hit an opponent, but you're taking a couple hits there, Mikasharius. You really need to start getting some damage down on him. You get an attack from both sides, pinch your attack, and they've taken you down yet again. McSherry has fallen. Our champion has died once more. And will this Domina end in fire and death? It seems that is the direction we are headed. Our only champion left now is the mighty Doylecanum who is going to be suited up as well as our money can handle. And, uh, we'll have to do his best in the pit fight versus Vipastanis that we don't even know what their stats are because details are hazy in the low light of this dank pit. You could be fighting a giant amongst men, Doylecanum, but we must earn money and probably get you killed in the arena. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, fight. Get those swings in. Two big hits right across the midsection and Doyle Canham has carved their way to victory very quickly, very expertly, might I add. And we now have a Ninny that has joined our crew. Hello, Ninnius. Ninnius is now going to be McNinnius. <laughs> Sorry, McSherry. <laughs> Do you wish to be a Thrax or a Scissor? Let me know when you get the time. Attack vectors have been uh, applied. We're going to get automatic yield so that 10% uh, health. Maybe we don't die. The magistrate has fallen seriously ill and his family. Medicus is on vacation in Rome. Do we send our Medicus to treat the man? Do nothing and hope he dies or send him for a Medicus from the city costing us coin. Give me your votes, please. <laughs> you both want us to send our Medicus. After seven days, the magistrate's fever breaks. He's very grateful for the assistance and wisdom of your Medicus and sends you a gift of 15 wine. Hey, thanks for the wine, buddy. I won't even have you murdered by my demon thing that sits over here and does some horrible, horrible shit to people. These costs are going up further all the time. You're going away, Harrispex. He will not return. <laughs> He's not happy. The Harrispex might have just cursed us by me firing them. I've made a terrible mistake. Uh, Let's get the saucer dose. Be one with the universe. Uh, occasionally upgrade a gladiator's defense training, strength. There. Let's make our gladiators faster and stronger. So McNinius is going to be a Thrax with, uh, with a sword and board. We'll give you a sword and a board. Oops, wrong direction. Gladius is all we got. We're out of money again! Next battle's in nine days. Uh, we'll throw in one weapon master here for McNinius, and then we're gonna we're gonna pop on down to an exhibition match. Putting Doyle Canum and uh, Gratius versus Vetius and McNinius. Alright. Last one. Doyle versus McNinius. Doyle Canum versus McNinius. Final battle for the night. And here it goes in four, three, two, one, fight! Swings coming out. Oh, there was suddenly a drop there. Doyle Canum's the only one standing up against Vivetius and McNinius. Yells are everywhere. Swords and 
blades slashing across. Just McNinius versus Duel of the Cannon. Shield versus Dual Swords. And it looks like a couple of strong strikes coming out there. It's a neck and neck game. Anybody could go at this point. McNinius is dropping down 23 health. We've got very, oh, the shield is gone now versus a, a dual wielding. Ah, oh, that was it. Once the shield was gone, unfortunately, uh, McNinius was unable to block any more of that blender-like strength that was coming out of Doyle Canum. And he has succeeded in this fight. Everybody's injured and dying. <laughs> Vettius has appealed for release, denied. All right, everybody. That has been uh, Domina on hard mode. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching. I'm going to be putting up a new one of these every week, Mondays at 7 Pacific Standard Time for about an hour. If you'd like to pop in and enjoy the games with me, please stop on by next time. Other than that, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've had a pleasant evening. I love your faces. I'll see you all later and goodbye.